should you start your security agency in 2023? Here's a spoiler. Yes, yes, you should. So as the author of How to Start a Security Guard Company, and as the administrator for the Security Officer Network, I monitor the private security space for the latest opportunities and to track the information needed for the next edition of the book. What follows are a few of these data points, data points that I believe make the very convincing case that 2023 is perhaps the best time, possibly ever, for starting a private security agency. If you've yet to take the leap to starting your own agency, then watch this at your own risk. It might change your life. In the past, one of these videos actually inspired a security entrepreneur to restart his private security patrol service. And stay tuned to the end as I firsthand demonstrate an amazing, albeit a rather controversial, free resource that wasn't available just a few months ago, but nevertheless actually provides some rather amazing time-saving resources to those who are just getting started. This video is brought to you by the SecurityOfficerNetwork.com the professional security officer's status symbol of choice. If you want to build your resume so that you can impress future clients of your agency, then join us today. The basics. So let's take the basics off of the table. These are the basic reasons that we've talked about in past videos for why you should start an agency. They still apply. The industry requires very little initial capital when compared to the many other forms of new business. You can still bootstrap your new security agency by personally working your first client sites. And this allows you to avoid the cost of employees early on. And the regulatory barrier to this type of business is often quite low. For more about these reasons, just scroll back and review some of the past video content on this channel. This video isn't about why you should start a security agency. It's about why 2023 might be the perfect time to do it. 2023 Inflation Sticker Shock This is actually a pretty big opportunity for your new security startup. Back in August, Robert Perry released their annual report on the private security industry. Their report detailed how security agencies who have been tied into contracts with their clients, have been forced to let overtime pay eat into their profit margin. In 2023, these contracts potentially come up for renewal, and the clients are going to have sticker shock, because the providers will price in the cost of inflation. They will try to protect themselves from future inflation as well, possibly, and might even get greedy and try to claw back some of their lost profit margins from previous years. This presents you with a great opportunity if you have been following the low overhead pricing strategies from the book How to Start a Security Guard Agency. Your lack of overhead cost could allow you to create a very competitive bid that will save the client from some of the inflationary cost and might entice them to take a risk on a new security agency, a risk that in normal years, they might not have been so willing to encumber. New at six, two of America's biggest security services companies are merging. Allied Barton of Conchahawk and is joining forces with Universal Services of America. It will form a new security giant called Allied Universal. The new company will employ about 140,000 security officers, and if approved, this merger will officially happen by the end of the year. From our South Jersey Bureau, If you've been the following the on. security industry over the past few years, you will know that many of America's major private security corporations have consolidated into a single corporate entity. In the past, there were multiple large security providers for the clients to choose from. Now, there's just a very few. People, especially the small business-minded who are likely to be your agency's first targets, are not going to be comfortable trusting the security of their site to a big corporation. From privacy concerns to customer service frustrations, distrust of the big corporates is growing all across American society. 
small businesses want to do business with someone who is local and who they can trust and speak to directly. Were I to start my company in 2023, I think this would be one of my main pitches. You don't have to worry about dealing with the account manager of a multinational corporation or some out-of-state corporate executive compromising your security details. I live right here, and you can call me personally at any time. In fact, I am the one who will be personally running some of your patrols and putting together your reports. Notably, with fewer big corporate providers, there is less competition for you. If the client has a bad experience with that one big corporate, then there are less other big corporates for them to turn to. And that's to your advantage. That's an advantage you have in 2023 that I didn't have when I started my agency back in the 1990s. The need. So my words aren't going to do this justice. There's nothing I can do to properly emphasize what I and many others likely believe to be going on out there. The best I can do to illustrate the problem is by looking at Dallas. It's the perfect venue to examine because they provide great online metrics. Anyone can view these. DFW area security providers should use the metrics to guide their marketing efforts and incorporate them into their marketing materials. Three years ago, I released a YouTube video entitled My Favorite Strategy for Finding New Security Clients. It's an in-depth client-finding strategy video describing the use of DPD's metrics to find and market to clients. At the four-minute mark, as the video highlighted DPD's low-priority non-response time, I described the shocking increase in non-priority response time. At that time, it had just plummeted from 47 minutes to 90 minutes. If DPD is going to take 90 minutes to respond to an alarm call, one may ask, why even bother responding at all? That video describes Dallas public safety officials seemingly reacting by emphasizing high priority calls to drive down the time of emergency call response at the expense of the non-priority calls. And it described my vision of a likely future where government public safety agencies will only handle active emergencies, leaving private sector providers to respond to non-emergency calls, such as alarm response. For all intents and purposes, at least in Dallas, that future appears to be arriving sooner than later just posted 2022 metrics show that non-priority response times have completely collapsed. By December of 2022, these calls exceeded 600 minutes. On average, it was taking DPD 10 hours to respond to general service calls. This category includes alarm response, abandoned child reports, intoxicated persons, thefts, and other common non-priority that may seem unimportant but can quickly escalate if the situation is not addressed and contained. This may explain why, notably, even as non-priority response has fallen off of the charts, now even the priority calls are taking longer to respond to. The Dallas Morning News has gone on record opining that the problem may be justifying the need for unarmed civilian employees to respond to calls. This will be of little comfort to Dallas property owners who expect the timely response of an armed, licensed officer and who will most certainly appreciate a security agency's timely response and competitively priced services. Essentially, the police can't respond and filling the gap will certainly require the robust participation of a new generation of private security agencies. In Dallas, the public safety sector is clearly collapsing, and likely in many other American cities as well. These cities are absolutely headed down the path already covered by South Africa. In that country, private security providers now greatly outnumber law enforcement.
The officers here outnumber the police roughly five to one. Here's an example. Take a look at this innovative provider. They appear to be literally marketing affordable a la carte security services to the San Antonio, Houston, and Dallas markets. By starting an agency now and sooner than later, as overwhelming demand builds, your new agency will already be positioned with a proven track record of good references for providing badly needed services such as alarm response to those who can no longer depend on city services. Back in the day when I was starting my agency, I had to find opportunities the hard way by getting out on the street, going business to business, and finding out where the problems were. And you will still need to do some of this. In order to find the community's pain points and to create innovative security services, you need insight into the community. These days, much of this information can be sourced from the comfort of your computer. And this is a trend that's only accelerating. For example, when someone is victimized by crime, they are quick to take to social media to warn their neighbors. Consider the opportunities exposed in the Nextdoor app. This app posts example after example of neighbors warning other neighbors about crime. Not only are these great lead generators for you to respond to, but they are also creating a perception of an increase in crime and an awareness of the need of your type of services. These individuals have disposable income. Start a great residential alarm response patrol. Market your service by showing PD slow response times to alarm calls. And word of your services can spread like wildfire through this app and others as residents communicate and seek solutions for the perceived rise in crime and slow police response time. Thank you very much. Well, two men are accused of tampering with the pumps at a gas station in Sunnyvale. Cron Force Rob Flatterbill tells us the men were arrested Inspired by for viral trends, TikTok, and the relaxing of felony laws, many are following into the temptation to engage in non-violent crime. It's actually a sad, sad deal all around. But I do think it's going to cause the security industry to absolutely blow up. From the Hyundai Kia challenge to credit card skimming, TikTok is creating chaos all across the nation, and the police can't or won't keep up. Just as people go to TikTok to learn how to commit crime, they take to next door to report it. Here's just one example of how your agency in 2023 can offer a specialized service that pulls in clients who previously wouldn't have hired a security service. For many years, there have been sites that were untouchable to any of us at a security agency, a complete waste of time to market to because they didn't have enough need to justify our services. For instance, exurban, suburban, and suburban adjacent gas stations. Sure, there was an occasional incident, but suburban police were still on top of things and could respond timely. Maybe not so much anymore. Peruse the Nextdoor app for long enough and you'll probably run across someone warning everyone else to avoid certain gas stations. Imagine the plight faced by the owner of these gas stations. These Nextdoor posts are embarrassing and are harmful to their business. Their clerks aren't trained to recognize skimmers, and they are all too busy with their customers to keep an eye on the pumps. The police will take forever to respond to a, someone is trying to put a skimmer on the pump call. And even when they do respond, they may not have the technical expertise to identify skimmer devices or understand the rapidly evolving technologies. Worse, local media might be watching the next door post, and they can easily create an embarrassing story on local TV, radio, or in the newspaper. And no matter what, the franchise cannot afford to hire a 24-7 on-site officer for each of their convenience store locations. This is your new agency's amazing opportunity to contact the proprietors of the small to mid-sized convenience store franchises. You can show them the social proof, the buzz on the Nextdoor app about the skimming. 
You can tell them that you have a patrol route specifically designed for their stations. And your patrol officer has been specifically trained to recognize skimmers, the technologies, and the methods used by those who install them, such as locating those who are sitting in their car near the skimmer and collecting data via Bluetooth. When your patrol officer isn't responding to calls from the franchise's clerks, he will be patrolling each of the franchise locations. His patrols will help the patrons to feel safe, keep skimmers at bay, as well as those embarrassing next door posts. This is just one example of how a client group, which has historically not been impacted by crime, but now can justify the expense of security. Because of your innovative proposal, they will have access to security, and by distributing the cost among each of their other franchise locations, it will be doable for their budget. It's one example of a recently needed security product design that's waiting for your new agency to fill, and in the upcoming years, with each new TikTok challenge, there's potentially another, and another, and another. From gas stations, to truck yards, to alarm response, to mini storage, the opportunities for specialization are only going to continue to expand each and every year. Essentially, fewer and fewer sites are now off limits to your marketing. The Opportunities of Personal Protection I am ever more convinced that the personal protection space is set to become one of the most quickly evolving areas of specialization in the private security industry, and it's the perfect fit for your smaller boutique security agency, even if it's just getting started. There's a general perception out there that seems to be growing. Everything is becoming political. A not insignificant number of people believe that law enforcement, the justice system, and a great number of the nation's established institutions are either on or on their way to being on the path of corruption. The law politicized and even weaponized as people become targeted for their political views and as the political pendulum will swing back and forth in the future, one political faction will first attack and then the other will retaliate. From political donors to prominent personalities to politician, basically anyone of prominence who takes to social media and shares their view in public will have exposure. This is going to lead to a mistrust of the public safety system and an ever-growing reliance on the private security sector. In reviewing recent public news regarding the relocation of the Brazilian president to Florida, one couldn't help but notice the prominence of the private security positioned near his private residence. Not public law enforcement, but private sector security. This is your agency's great opportunity the personal protection space. Those who need it won't want to go to the big multinational corporates to provide the service. They will want someone they know they can trust, and that's your local agency. There's a lot to this subject matter, and we could go on forever about it, maybe at a future date. Subscribe and like to stay up to date on the latest content from the Security Officer Network. As fascinating as these opportunities are, it's important to note that the rise in crime, the loss in faith in public institutions, and all that goes with it aren't good things. These are bad for society and represent an end of the way of life that will actually be missed. But make no mistake, there's an absolute calling and an opportunity for those who are prepared to offer needed solutions in an affordable manner to those who need them the most. If that's you, consider starting your security agency in 23 and consider joining us at the Security Officer Network, the home of the true security professional. Upon joining, you will have immediate access to the Security Consultancy course, the course that helps you get started on leveraging security consulting as a benefit to your future clients of your future security agency. Here's a quick bonus example. The rise of AI. These new tools, which weren't available just a few months ago, have amazing potential to help level the playing field between the big agencies 
and the solopreneur who is bootstrapping his agency on a small budget. It's not unlike having an administrative assistant who already has a basic knowledge of the security industry, marketing, and the various regulations and requirements. In this example, I am asking the free-to-use ChatGPT to do something many first-time security owners are likely afraid to do, draft a well-crafted marketing brochure. There has been a bit of controversy about the biases of this particular tool, so this isn't a specific endorsement. But this is probably one of the first of many similar tools that are likely to follow. That said, this brief demonstration shows the potential of AI to be your new agency's amazing resource. And it's a tool, again, that wasn't available just a few weeks ago. Here's a problem that I think a lot of would-be security entrepreneurs do have. Perhaps you are one of those great security officers who wants to open your own agency, but you have imposter syndrome when it comes to running a company and you're absolutely petrified of doing items such as writing marketing text to give to potential clients. Never fear, AI to the rescue. The example on your screen demonstrates how with just a few basic prompts, AI will quickly create a professionally crafted first draft text that you can then customize and edit as needed. And as you can see, I'm speaking to the AI in the regular language of a real person. I'm simply instructing it to develop the brochure, much like I would ask a marketing consultant to use my strong points, the things that make my agency special, and to create my own exciting marketing material informing the future client of these features. I can ask the AI to draft and redraft the brochure as many times as needed in order to get it right. I can also create customized materials for each target client. For example, if I am targeting a set of potential clients in an area that was close to a recent crime or type of public safety event, then I can easily ask the AI to drop in the reference to that recent event. Or perhaps I am needing to include a special one-time offer to a client. No problem. AI will smoothly incorporate this specific offer into the text. Once I am satisfied with the work product, I can make my updates and edits manually on my own and then drop the completed text into a direct email or print it out on my letterhead for old school hand in-person delivery. Now, as you can see, AI isn't limited to simply developing marketing materials. In this case, I'm asking the service to provide me with some items that I could use in my company's special offering, which is free parking lot accident investigations. This is a good thing to offer to clients, especially those in the retail sector who have trouble getting police to respond to accidents in their parking lot. So in this case, AI has provided me with several items that should be included in my accident investigation forms. But of course, there are other forms that I will need as well, and I know this. I'm starting a new company after all. So I'm going to ask AI, give me some examples of some common forms that security agencies might need. And sure enough, here are 10 examples that I may or may not need for my new agency, depending on the specifics, but AI is making sure to take care of me that I'm not going to overlook needed forms. So how about a few good names for my new security agency? AI can provide me with some examples. Some of these are a little bit non-exciting, maybe a little generic, but I can follow up ask for more specific information by just letting it know, hey, I want a name for a patrol service that is targeting mini storages. And then in this case, AI once again provides very specific information. And then finally, you can even throw some generic questions and should just talk to the AI like it's a friend who has experience in the industry. And it will give you information. Some of it may not be useful, but some of it certainly will be. 
and in this case the AI continues to provide helpful information to me as I start my new security agency. I placed the link to this particular AI service in the description under this video. So what do you think? Am I justified in my optimism for the future of the private security industry? Let me know in the comments. Like and subscribe for more content like this. Much more is planned. And don't forget to join us at securityofficernetwork.com. It's the professional security officer's status symbol of choice. Good luck trying to find a shrink in this town.